Okay, uh, what's coming up is a uh, is a Dell uh, Optiplex uh, GX270. Uh, um, lost a couple of beginning videos. That's why I'm making this one. All right. So uh, the scenario was um, the motherboard burned up. I already made a, uh, a video on YouTube on how not to change out that motherboard, um, and uh, the hard drive had issues too. So what so what, what happened is uh, when I booted up originally uh, and even after the motherboard was changed out you would get three options up on the screen it's a black screen white lettering that says uh, boot to safe mode boot to DOS prompt uh, boot windows normally with the 28 second uh, 30 second countdown no matter what option we looked at okay it would uh, continuously reboot alright so uh, I did, did some things and one of them uh, I did um, uh, is just to see what the hard drive actually. I put a boot CD in. It's a, it's actually a DOS CD that I made into a, uh, a dot floppy disk that I made into CD. Pop that in there, drop the C drive at the boot up, and nothing was on the drive. I mean, nothing. All right, 160 gig drive. She has a lot of stuff, and I, you know I had to call her and I, you know what am I going to do? You, you know I have to be blunt about it. I'm a computer technician, honest and all that. So so I I decided. Um, come on in and do some other things and one of the things I did was pop in a, a, a Dell Windows CD as if I was installing fresh but I didn't do that I got to the part of when you see uh, uh, how much drive space available and it said 158 gigs out of 160 is free what where's her stuff at okay that was the question in my mind you got 158 gigs free all that stuff's gone so um, then I put in my uh, password, uh, my password reset tool. That's what you see on the first video. No version of Windows came up. Nothing came up. And then from that point on, you'll see how I got everything back. All right. It floored me when I did. I've been doing this for 30 years now, and this is the first time this has happened when I actually got everything back. And I'm telling you, um, somebody up there is watching out for her. That, that's it. So here we go. Uh, enjoy the video. It is kind of lengthy. So uh, bear with it, all right? Um, but it's going to tell you just how I, I did this. Okay, I have a, a, Dell, a Dell computer here that um, um, has a hard drive in it that has an issue. Um, it comes up and it says uh, there's no operating system. Actually, it goes into the Windows uh, three options. You've, uh, you've actually uh, you go in safe mode DOS or start up normally and then that just goes into constant recycle so uh, after doing a whole lot of stuff uh, I went ahead and put in the password reset which uh, is supposed to come up in in uh, these areas of the usernames and uh, accounts and all that to reset their passwords and there is no operating system even uh, by selecting that drop down with a the mouse there's nothing you can't even select that it's saying nothing's on there so I went into Windows uh, uh, put in a Windows disk and uh, go set up. It's 160 gig hard drive and it says 158 gigs is free to, to install. I said, whoa, what happened to all the person's stuff? So that's the issue. That's where we're going. So I'm going to take this hard drive out of this computer. I'm actually going to put it into that computer and taking the place of the uh, CD-ROM drive and installing the uh, Seagate tool, uh, Windows tool, to see if I can diagnose the hard drive. We're going to disconnect. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. You've seen this uh, this computer on on a different YouTube video if you watch my videos. This uh, this is an ATA uh, connector on the back, and that's what I need. The hard drive is a SATA that's on this, so that's fine. So I'm going to replace this C uh, the CD-ROM drive with this Dell hard drive. Just lay it in. It should still boot up on the, the SATA drive because this is how I have the BIOS set up. I do not have it booting up on CD first because it would boot on this first and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to turn this upside down because you never want to touch the bottom of that and uh, hopefully it's grounded because it's on this. So here we go. Let's turn the power on. BIOS may say uh, we see something else. So now I'm going to bring you back up to the video. Okay, so that would be so odd if that's the drive that's on top. But 
Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this, drive D. That's the drive that I put in. It sees that it has a problem. So I'm going to let this go through. This is a good, this is check disk. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So let's see what kind of uh, problems we have on this if we do. So this would tell me that the file structure was uh, destroyed during all the restarts. And, and um, you know, when Windows boots up, it's reading data. And when it shuts down the wrong way, it's no, no chance of it writing back down to the hard drive. So uh, what I'm looking for is any errors that come up with this. So this is a very good thing. Hopefully this fixes the drive. And I hear that thing, the head's just bouncing around on that thing. So it's going through a percentage. I would like to have the, the video running during this time because uh, uh, this, uh, in fact, if we can get a little closer here so you can see what's going on. Alright, I'm looking down here for errors and what happens is it goes so fast sometimes that uh, you do need a camera to catch it because you don't have enough time to get up there and press pause to read anything. So uh, this uh, video might be kind of lengthy, uh, but it's pertinent that we uh, do this so you can actually see what goes on. So uh, if I pause the video and miss something, then we kind of lost the function of uh, what I'm doing here. So um, bear with it, sit back, relax. Okay, I can take a video up to 25 minutes remaining on this uh, on this portion of, uh, of the camera. We're not taking 25 minutes. So we're at stage two of three of the of this. It's a 160 gig hard drive, and not all of that is being used. Uh, so this would be really nice if it actually found and fixed the problem. probably the furthest I've gotten on, on this with uh, everything I've done so far. And uh, it would be cool. Now I've never used the uh, Seagate uh, for Windows tools so that would be something new to, to all, all of us. Uh, Seagate is a, is a good company. They used to have uh, Western Digital and Seagate used to have tools uh, on floppy disk that would, um, when the boot sector was bad, you could pop the tool in there and it reassigns uh, sector one as the zero sector, as the boot sector, and the hard drive would be up and running again. So, couldn't find that. Don't know if that would have helped out at all. So, 99% here. That's done. Now it's checking the. Uh, Verifying the security. So it should kick out a report after this. Right up on the screen and then uh, go straight into Windows. But drive D up here is the drive I just put replaced with, you know, in place of the uh, CD drive. So that's very good that it's seeing that. So if I if I if it comes up uh, and I can see everything on the hard drive, then I'm going to do a virus scan of that hard drive because my customer's not using Microsoft Security Essentials, actually use something that I don't really uh, care for. And um, so I'm going to protect myself, my computer, by doing this. So now um, it's going through this now. Relatively quick, I like that. Okay, pay attention to the readout now. The three of three, hundred percent. I'm looking for bad sectors. I'm looking for uh, any uh, cross links that might have been bad. And what it'll do is it'll list them all down. All right. Um, should give out just a little chart. It's probably sorting out the uh, the readout right now. I'm not sure. I hope it just doesn't flash and go away. Like a blink of an eye. Makes you wonder what it's doing now, huh? Okay. Ah, look at this. Correcting master table. Okay, 8K of bad sectors. So the hard drive is bad. Okay, so that's that's a even though the uh, the tools that comes comes with that other computer 
that does the self-diagnostics um, told me that the hard drive was good. But that just told me, check this, says the, the hard drive's got bad sectors, which is really bad. So I want to go, I'm curious now. Uh, when this comes all the way up, it, it may say something about found new drive being at uh, Samsung. Okay, see there's a threat. Samsung says we monitor the PC because the program's service stopped. You should, uh, okay, well this says, uh, okay, it found, it found that. I'm going to start now. This is the desktop I was just using. Okay, it found, it found the hard drive. I wonder why the, my antivirus services have stopped. That's, okay, there we go. We've got a green with a white check. That's good. So I'm going to go to my uh, computer, see if I see a hard drive. Okay, drive D. And look at that. Everything's there. Oh, she's going to be thrilled. She's going to be thrilled. All right. So I want to tell you, uh, now, now uh, the thing, uh, in Windows 7, we can, uh, we can scan with uh, uh, Microsoft Security Essentials. In Windows 8, we can't do this. All right, so it's uh, important if you have Windows 8 to take a look at, uh, take a look at the um, video I have on YouTube about that. So uh, the key thing is, check this RAN and actually got the everything going. So we're going to do a virus scan. I'm not going to have the, ca uh, the camera on during this whole time. So uh, so in, my, in Microsoft Security Essentials, I'll come down here saying uh, something was found. You can read it after the scan. Not like some other antivirus programs will actually say found this, found this, found this, found this as it goes on. What's really nice about this, you could actually delete things out of the quarantine, which some others that I know of, I'm not naming names, will not allow, allow you to do that without calling their support. So I'm going to uh, put this on hold right now on the video until this is all done. And uh, bring it back up and show you the report. Okay, no viruses found on the on the hard drive, which is really nice. Now if you look at um, uh, her um, documents, which has pictures and everything else in, um, first of all, the hard drive on this computer is only an 80 gig hard drive. So this thing's already 50, 51, 53. It's uh, picking up uh, some speed here. Okay, 63 gigabytes of stuff there. And then her, um, uh, where else did I see it? Her desktop has a lot of stuff on it too. So 63 and then another maybe one gig there. Uh, that would pretty much fill up whatever the remaining of my hard drive would, would be. So uh, what I what I am doing is um, let's see oh, this is not seven it's not Windows seven so just found that out I'm going to take that and put it over there and um, this is an external drive that I have across the room that I set up with a GX two seventy on it it's the E drive and uh, what I'm going to do is just drag these over and copy them and this is my this is the way I do a backup. Okay, there's one uh, there's and that's very 101 minutes is not the true jump up to 147. It's like the stock market. That's uh, it seems like it's that way ever since Windows uh, 3.0 actually came out, the first uh, Windows. So so uh, jump down to 62 minutes and it's going to go even lower. So uh, we're going to do that with our documents and that's going to be everything and anything under my documents. This downloads, this everything. And then I want to do her desktop too, which has a lot of stuff on it. So once these are on um, on uh, the external drive, uh, I could probably, probably do anything I want with this, including run this uh, this uh, uh, C tools. I want to run that and see what it does too on the hard drive, just to see if we can uh, get it running uh, the way it's supposed to be running. Uh, then I'm going to take the hard drive and throw it back into the original computer and see if we can actually boot it up. It would be really nice if it does. And uh, get her uh, video card would be the next task. Getting that video card to work in there again, which it didn't do. Um, so uh, it's back up to 128 minutes. Um, we're not going to sit here and watch the whole thing. I'm going to just do the backup. And if so, you know, if you if you're uh, in the computer business or you're doing this uh, yourself, you need to really, if you're a able to access the hard drive, now is the time to get the data off of it, not when it actually fails. 
All right, and I really wish that my customers would listen to me when I say, hey, two things to do. Don't leave your computer on 24-7 and make a backup whenever you feel that it's important to do so. Otherwise, you're going to lose your stuff if it fails. And she's very lucky that we didn't lose her stuff. Okay, we are going to start this up and see what happens. Nice and quiet. We do not have the video card in yet. There's our Dell. I'll bring this up just a little bit. This is further than what we got before. At least we're not recycling at the at the black lines. Okay, the video card's not in yet. All right, this is the video card, and um, it wouldn't work before, and I didn't want to take it take a chance while we're doing this. So uh, after this is all done and we're up and running, look at this. She's going to be so happy. Come on, come on, keep going. Keep going. We got a sound. That's a plus. Oh, isn't that cute? She told me she lost a couple of cats like I did. She made a rest in peace. Angel. I want to see the rest of the desktop though. She does have a lot of stuff uh, on the computer and uh, games and everything. It takes a while to load that kind of stuff. She's not using uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, which I think she's using Avast, which is fine. Everybody has their own thing. It looks like all their stuff's there. Isn't that great? Okay, so now the next thing is uh, put the video card in and uh, see what happens there. Uh, so I'll let this finish booting up. Uh, there's no problems. It doesn't look like there's any problems at all. She's going to be uh, really floored that all her stuff's still there. That's great. I'm so, <laughs> uh, you know, during this whole evolution, I thought all her stuff was gone. And, uh, and I was glad to back it up. And uh, uh, she's going to be uh, so kind of happy, especially if I can get that video card working. Don't know, because hardware is a different story. So we'll see what happens. Okay, let me go ahead and swap out the, uh, put the card in. Uh, Bringing this back up. Alrighty, put the video card in. Let's fire it up. Okay, you heard how quiet it was before now, and the other noise would be the video card. And yeah, it is quite a. Something happened. Let's see. It's on. Uh, I don't like this at all. I'm turning it off before it causes problems. Okay, hold the button in about six seconds and it'll turn off. I'm going to uh, I'm going to swap, take that video card out now. That's not good at all. All right, taking out the uh, video card now. Okay, it's out. There it is. Close that. Close the lid, hook up the monitor, back down to the motherboard. I really hope this thing boots up okay now. That uh, it's not going to come up and say Windows didn't start right and boot back to the original issue. Okay, we're screwing it in all the way so it's flat down. Putting power back in. Okay, I'm turning it on. Let's hope we have something. Power monitor's on, there it goes. Alright. Really hope, hope, hope that it boots up fine. Okay, nothing about uh, it didn't start wrong the last time, so we're back in the windows. So we have a bad video card, it looks like.
So far so good. We got sound again. That's good. Okay. So we're, we got a mouse too. That's good. So um really want to get that card going, but you know, when it comes to hardware, I can't do a whole lot with it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try this again. And hopefully I persevere on it. That, that would be nice. I might have to actually get a card from uh, Tiger Direct or someplace. Alright, but you don't need to see all this boot up again. Uh, let me go ahead and swap out the card and see if I can get it working. Okay, I uh, don't know if you can see it there. Um, if I can put any more light on it, I don't think so. But it is on the uh, AGP card now. So let's see what happens. Let's fire it up. Okay, a lot of noise. Okay, we got. 256 okay we got a good video fans kind of noisy this is better than what we had before maybe it just wasn't seated in the right I don't know got good windows hopefully when the drivers kick in we'll see what happens okay that's good Come on, come on, come on. Got a good mouse. Got that, come on. Get the roots. I feel like I'm rooting along a football team or something. Jeez. It's one step at a time with this. But that's a bad sounding fan that's on that thing too. Got good sound. Keep the video going. I want to see the desktop. Come on. All right, look at that. I got this tighter. She can customize this anytime she wants, but that's, that's the evidence of a different video card being in there. Smaller uh, mouse. I think she's going to be happy. This is actually my third attempt with that video card, and I am not moving it. Very temperamental, but that uh, the fan's going to go on her soon. So she's going to have to replace that video card eventually. Tiger Direct is probably the best place to get one. All right, I want to see all the pictures, the, all the pictures of the icons when they come up. There's going to be uh, her stuff coming on the bottom. And if this uh, all works out, if we're done, uh, ready for delivery. In the Navy, we called it RFI, ready for issue. So I'm just going to wait for zone alarm and uh, her Avast antivirus and all that stuff to load up. And it's a done deal. Look at that. She is going to be great. I, she's on my uh, YouTube channel now, too, so she's going to see this video. Yeehaw. Okay, connect, yeah, we're connected to the internet. Thank you very much. That's a vest on the bottom. It's twirling around. I don't like shutting down with an hourglass and things still loading and hearing the hard drive bouncing around in there. The heads. Alright. But it's a done deal. So I'm going to just shut off now. Uh, actually, I want to show that it shuts down all the way too. So, I think we're done. Close this. Start, shut down, and shut down. There it goes. I did blow all the dust off of the fan on, uh, on that video card.
that that is indeed the fan that's causing a problem there. And it shut down. We are done. If you like the video, hey, thumbs up, leave suggestions, always looking for input, and subscribe to see more. Lots of stuff coming up.